Good morning. I am starting out early this morning um, because we're doing a crock pot meal. Uh, it's Father's Day. I'm about ready to rush out the door for church and I just wanted to throw this in the crock pot really quick. It's also, it's Father's Day so it's quick and easy and something special for my husband. So we're going to do a shrimp boil today. So I have quartered red potatoes left the skins on that's perfectly fine and I'm gonna put that into my crock pot first and I just want to line the bottoms to make it even even as possible okay and then I'm gonna add my sausage which I have kibasi you can do andouille sausage or whatever it does not matter okay and now I'm gonna add Corn. I have corn on the cob that I've quartered, and I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that in there as well. It's gonna look a little full in here, but that's perfectly okay. I have a um, crock pot liner in, which I swear by those things. They're so easy to clean up. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is add some garlic. And I'm just gonna try to spread it out a little bit in here. Okay, um, I added a teaspoon, which is about one clove of garlic. All right, now I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of Old Bay seasoning. And again, I'm just gonna Sprinkle that around. Okay, and lemon juice. And I'm gonna do about a tablespoon. Um, I would do like one to two um, actual lemons, but I forgot to get them at the store, so we're just gonna use some lemon juice gonna work perfectly fine and then last but not least for now is six cups of water all right so there's six cup of water right and so we're just gonna put that on high for four to five hours and then I'll show you come back when it's time to add our raw shrimp to it all right see you then okay welcome back um we have about an hour and 10 minutes left in our crock pot here. It's boiling nicely. Um, it looks so good. So what I'm going to do here is I have two pounds of raw shrimp that I'm going to add in. And since this takes um, four to five hours on high, it's been in here for four hours and it's basically, um, if I wanted to stop it now, it'd be good still. But um, I do need to get my raw shrimp added in. And I do mean raw. And it's thawed out. So now if you start to run out of room when putting in the shrimp, because it's pretty full crock pot here, you can always take out, especially since now like everything's pretty much cooked, cooked all the way through. Um, you can take out some of the pieces of corn and just put it on the side and add it all back together once everything's done and cooked. So I'm just adding this back in here. And I'm gonna let this cook for another hour or so until basically until the shrimp. It might not even take an hour. So I'm gonna keep checking on it every like, maybe every 20 minutes to a half an hour to see how the shrimp are doing. Cause once they're cooked all the way through, this is basically done. And then once it's done, um, usually we want to put it on like a pan with newspaper lined. I don't have newspaper, so I'm going to put down just paper towels. Um, and then add some melted butter and some more Old Bay seasoning, and it's ready to go. So, getting the last little bit of my shrimp in, and I'm going to get it down into the juices here. Let it, let it cook for another hour or so, give or take, depending. I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, we're all finished here. So, 
It's been on the crock pot for five hours. And I did put the shrimp in for an hour. Um, so right now I'm gonna, I have this pan here. It's probably a little big, we'll see. Um, and I have um, paper towel lined on the bottom. And I'm just gonna scoop everything into it. I know they call for like newspaper or something like that to be put on the bottom, but I don't have any newspaper around. So I am just putting paper towel down to soak up some of that extra juice. And now this, just throwing it in. It's supposed to be mixed up some, so we're just throwing it in everywhere. Now you can, um, you can throw in, boil some crab legs, throw those in here, make this as a side, make this as the main dish. So many options. This is gonna be a side dish. Um, my initial plan was to do this with um, some steaks grilled up for my husband. However, he wants to go to his friend's house for a cookout today, so that's what we're gonna do. And I just threw this together, because I had to anyways. Um, for the side dish. Just making sure I get everything out of here. I don't want anything left behind. It's kind of a big pot here, pan thing, but it's all I had, it's all I could find. And I needed to transport. I don't want to leave out any shrimp or anything. Okay, I think we got everything out. All right. So all I have left to do is I have some melted butter that I'm going to pour over top of everything. Ugh. This is the best part. I'm probably gonna need some more butter, but I'll take a stick with me to melt. Mm. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, just the smell of melted butter is just, oh, so good. All right. Old Bay. Throw some Old Bay on top and we're all done. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good enough. I hope you enjoy watching this and make this and make it really good because it's going to be so delicious. Um, just make sure you like and share my Facebook post. Um, go follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and have a great rest of your week. Thank you.